my name is Adam and I am on the Papercut support team here in Portland, Oregon. Today I'll be going over printer groups and how they can be used effectively within Papercut. Papercut admins can add a user-defined tag or a set of tags to a set of printers or devices within Papercut for a simpler way to perform a number of actions. For instance, grouping by printer type could allow an organization to compare volume on inkjets versus laser printers. Grouping by floor, departments, or work areas can provide more easily accessible comparison reports to identify areas that might need additional printers or, on the flip side, find underutilized printers. You can quickly locate printers by group in the Admin Console printers list. You can also implement fine-grained access control by ensuring administrators can only apply adjustments to devices under their ownership or responsibility. You can also facilitate group-level management of device settings, such as copying new rules, costs, and policies between similar devices under the same group. We'll take a look at these functionalities, but first, let's get some printer groups set up. To group printers, let's go ahead and head to the admin console. Let's click the Printers tab, where you're going to see the printer list displayed. Then select a printer to go to the Printer Details Summary page. Let's go down to the printer slash device groups area and then enter an appropriate group name such as location colon building one, then click enter to add. And just a quick side note on printer group naming, it's super important to have consistent and clear naming conventions. This technically applies to every aspect of IT management, but specifically in this context, admins are encouraged to use a key colon value such as type colon color or location colon accounting to give more fine-grained control when filtering through printer groups. It's also worth tasking an admin with the task of assigning printer groups when new printers are added to your network. All right, tangent over, let's move on. So let's go ahead and click OK to confirm the printer group and, and create that printer group. Now let's head back to the printer list page and we'll select another printer that's in the same location as that other printer so that we are in the same uh, location group. So in the printer slash device groups area this time around, you're going to click the drop down arrow and because we created that printer group before, you're going to see that location colon building one in the list. So let's go ahead and select that to add that same tag to this printer. Then we're going to skip this step, but then you'd want to go through and, uh, and, and add all of the printers that also belong to this location so that everything is uh, all bundled underneath this group, uh, this group tag. But in the meantime, that's all there is to it. We have a printer group with a couple printers, so let's take a look at a few uses with the newly created sorting system of printer groups. First, let's take a look at a handy way to run a report on a printer group. Let's say that we wanted to take a look at the printer usage summary report just for our location colon building one printer group we created. So let's head to the admin console, then the reports tab, and then printers. And then we're gonna find the printer usage summary report. Now we wanna use the ad hoc options to narrow down the results of the report to just a single printer group. So go ahead and click the drop down, then select ad hoc, and then select a file format such as PDF, and this is going to take you to the ad hoc options page where you're presented with all kinds of options, one of which is to narrow down the report by printer group. So select the drop down, then select the printer group. And we're going to go ahead and run the report. And this is what it looks like. And this one instance is not especially exciting since there isn't much going on in my test environment, but you can see here that this report was indeed run for only the printer group selected. So in the future, the value of this is going to be huge because you'll be able to see just the usage summaries for this location. Now another great usage of printer groups is to filter the printer list down to just show the members of the group. To demonstrate, let's head over to the printers tab and click on the filters button then select the group from the printer group dropdown. Once applied, the printer list will be narrowed down to just those printers that belong to the group. This is extremely useful in environments with a large amount of printers, as for example, you can easily see printers that have been grouped by a particular location. And one last example is to set system notifications for a printer group to be sent to a particular email address. So this is helpful if you have an IT admin that is assigned to a certain building and needs to know if the devices in their location are low on toner or just are in error. So let's head to the Options tab, then Notifications, and then scroll down until you get to the System Notifications section. Then enable notifications such as Printers in Error. 
So once enabled, you'll see a pre-existing notification for all printer slash devices. Let's go ahead and add another notification by clicking the plus sign at the bottom right. This is gonna add another field with a dropdown for selecting printer groups. So once we've selected the group, we'll add an email address and save the changes. This way when there's a printer and error in that location, then just the one email address is going to be notified of that. And that is how to set up printer groups. You can find a link to the printer groups manual page in the video description. And as always, head over to support.papercut.com to get in touch with us here on the Papercut support team if you run into any issues. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.